Hey everybody, Gears here, and in this series of videos I'll be installing skin snaps onto the droid. Uh, there are two or three major ways to attach the skins to a droid frame. It depends on the materials of each one, aluminum versus wood versus aluminum versus styrene versus and so on. But they settle into three different categories, basically. Bolt it on, and then paint the screw heads white, as was done in the original movie glue it on, in which case you can never get it undone essentially, or snaps. And that's what this is here. It doesn't probably look like a snap, but when you pull them apart, you got three pieces. Central piece gets tucked down right in about like that, and the arms get attached to the skins and slide into there. There are modifications that need to be done to the frame first, and that is what is about to happen. So essentially, with this roughly in the middle, not only does the amount of wood that the snap takes up have to be removed, but also the travel distance. So theoretically, this flange here will be clear of that by the time you get the skin out that far. Otherwise, a lot more material has to be taken out. There's one particular trick you have to keep in mind for the snaps, is that right now we're looking at the frame upside down, so technically this is underneath. You could then put one here, which is above this frame, or below it, and above this frame, or below that one above it as well. If they're all on the same side, it'll look like saggy socks, is the uh, example that I've read, where the skin is just falling down. So you have to have one snap under, one snap above, or two snaps above. And I realize there are better tools for doing this, especially considering it's wood and this is a regular diamond cutoff wheel. Or, but I'll go with it for now simply because uh, I got time. So this definitely covers the space. However, I won't know. I'll need to have the skins attached to this to know if I've cut enough extra space for this area here. So in doing both sides, the cutting wheel took a lot longer to get through, however it did provide a truer right angle at the interior there, whereas this is kind of sloped. However, overall I think this should fit. Quite nicely. Once this centerpiece is bolted down, then I should be able to test whether this is going to have enough space to come off as well. It looks like it should with all of that there, but I'll have to keep that in mind when I do it on these other brackets as well. Most likely here, and I'll show you why in the next video. For the moment though, I'm going to go and cut these areas out.
Test number two. All right, so I wanted to get this first test done off camera just so I could make sure I got the idea basically down. And in doing so, I cracked this entire lip here, so I've striven to get this into place as held in as thinly as it is. I'll be lapping those lengths off and uh, putting either Ava's epoxy in the back and building this place up or JB Weld or something similarly strong and durable because this is a weak point as well as the other side too. And over here I got one T-nut to work out however this one is far too close to get two of them together very well so I'll put a regular nut onto that and then probably weld them together later in the meantime shaving them down as much as possible with the cutting wheel. And in the skin snap kit from Darren Muir you get seven pieces in case you mess up with one. What I'm thinking of doing is putting two side by side here to help compensate for this guy potentially up here. And on the other side I'll only have three. I'll be going on the insides of this again. And if that blocks the uh, pocket vent that's there, it's no worries for us. However, I can be sure that uh, this amount of room cannot really be easily taken out of this amount of area with the shoulders right there at least for the way I put this together and tested it out. So I've got two pieces in place. There's four to five more to go without breaking anything further. This one will be a tricky area. This was ground down just a little to help compensate for the shoulder wheel which may itself be a little too low. I'm gonna have to check that out and if it is and if that's right then I'll have to re-drill a new upper high end and fill in this bottom end to help bring it back up to where it should be. I think that's it for this installation. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and one really immensely useful thing. Get a magic marker and do an outline of your center uh, hooking up piece. That way you'll be able to see where the arms are once they're interlocked, otherwise they're invisible. Having these printed in two different colors would be a really good step too. Thanks for watching. See ya.